get involved beyond just electoralism, to start a union, to radicalize their union, to get involved in mutual aid networks or other grassroots spaces, you know, to continue to push the, the movement for justice and equity for all, all of us all. Hi, my name is uh, Dani Celaya. I work in communications and I'm a union member with the Communication Workers of America. As a, I'm actually also a non-citizen, so I, you know, of course won't be able to vote, but I'm still going to be impacted by the loss and the uh, consequences of the 2024 election. And I'm from uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, but originally from Mexico. So uh, DACA is, you know, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, which essentially, you know, it's, it's not a pathway to citizenship, but at the bare minimum, it protects us from, it, it protects us from deportation, it grants us a work permit and in very limited situations allows us to see our families again through advanced parole. Being someone that doesn't have voting rights yet has to suffer the consequences of the election, honestly, I am really scared about either of, of the two outcomes. Trump, because we know just the kind of um, dangerous politics that he's going to put in place, but then also Harris and the fact that, again, she's appeasing to the right. So like, really, what I would say really more my side is the, the working class, the, the working people of our communities who have continued to be, you know, betrayed and left behind by both Republican and um, Democrat administrations. Back in 2020, like one of the key things was, you know, getting out the vote, you know, like I myself was knocking on doors, you know, because obviously I can't vote, but I can encourage my community to go out and vote. So like back in 2020, just getting out the vote and defending voting rights, uh, educating uh, citizens about their voting rights, that was one of my priorities in 2020. This past uh, four years, that priority has been more so on educating folks about their labor rights, on uh, pushing our unions to be, you know, more militant outside of just defending the Democrats, but like standing up for our rights as workers, you know, uh, and of course standing in solidarity with all these uh, movements, both domestically and locally. You know, in history, most change has come from like the movement in the streets, everything from the suffrage movement, the labor rights movement, the civil rights era, it all happened in the streets of our cities and communities where we shift the public narrative. Michigan right now has one of the more progressive, you know, reproductive rights and you know, also voting rights. But that didn't come from Lansing. That came from a popular movement, you know, through a ballot initiative where the people themselves told Lansing, hey, this issue matters to us and we want this thing to get done. <laughs>